Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the best WordPress plugin to create engaging Zoom and Google Meet conferences and webinars. This is the plugin eRoom and there are a lot of things it can offer. Let's explore all of them one by one. First, we will set up Zoom and Google Meet settings, then we will see how to create meetings and manage them. We start with Zoom meetings. Free version of the plugin offers you to create Zoom meetings right away from your WordPress. After the activation of the plugin, the first thing that you need to do is to set up Zoom settings. To generate the proper API keys, go to Zoom App Marketplace, then log in or sign up. On the Zoom App Marketplace page, click on the Develop button and from the drop-down menu, select the option Build Legacy App. On the Open It page, the app type should be selected to generate credentials. A room requires server-to-server -server auth and meeting SDK APIs to connect with Zoom and use its functionalities. To make the Zoom credentials work, do not forget to activate SSL in your domain. Among available apps, select server-to-server -server auth type, then, in the pop-up window, add your app name. As soon as an app is created, API credentials will be generated automatically in the App Credentials section. These credentials should be copied and pasted to the respective fields in the Zoom settings of our plugin. Then, it is required to add information for the app in the Information section. It is required to fill out the following fields – Company name, Developer contact name, Developer contact email. It is also required to select the correct scopes to make the plugin work. Open the scopes and click on the Add Scopes button. For meetings, Select View and Manage Subaccounts User Meetings, View All User Meetings, View and Manage All User Meetings. For webinars, select View and Manage Subaccounts User Webinar, View All User Webinars, View and Manage All User Webinars. For recording, select View and Manage Subaccounts User Recordings, View All User Recordings, View and Manage All User Recordings. For user, select View and Manage Subaccounts User Information, View All User Information, View Users Information and Manage Users. After adding all listed scopes, click on the Done button to close the window. Finally, activate the Server to Server app. Now let's go back to the app list to generate keys for meeting SDK. Zoom Meeting SDK offers video conferencing features that mirror the meeting experience in the Zoom client. Meeting SDK is required to make join in browser work. In the pop-up window, set a name for the app and disable the toggle button. In the information section, it is required to fill out the following fields. App name, short description, long description, company name, developer name, developer email address. As soon as the required information is filled out, go to the download section. Actually, we have nothing to do there, so let's continue. In this section, copy the API key and API secret key and paste them into the respective fields on the Zoom settings page. Copy the URL of the settings page and paste it to the redirect URL for auth. Next, write down the URL address of your website here. Continue and add this meeting SDK app. Put a tick here and press L of. We are done! Google Meet is another great option to create meetings. You can check out this video where we compared these two providers with some use cases. Now, let's set it up. From the dashboard, go to the eRoom Pro and activate the Google Meet. Go to the Google Meet settings. We need to generate APIs for Google Meet from Google Developers Console as well. Open the Developers Console by clicking this button. Create a new project, or if you have one, you can use it as well. Assign a name to your project and select the organization. OK, we have created a project. Click on Enable APIs and Services. Tap the Google Calendar into the search field of the Google API library to initiate the search. Select the Google Calendar API from the search results. To activate the Google Calendar API for this project, simply click on the Enable button. From the Google Calendar API dashboard, click on the Create Credentials button. 
choose the user data as the data type and proceed by clicking on the next button. In the section for the auth content screen, provide the name of your application and include your user support email and developer contact email. Upon saving the app details, you will be directed to the scope section which can be skipped. After that, you can select auth client ID. Select web application as your application type. For the authorizer direct URI, go back to the Google Meet settings then press next. Copy that link and go back to the Google Developers Console and paste the link in the designated area for the authorized redirect URI. After creating the credentials, you can download the JSON file from the credentials dashboard. Simply click on the download icon to continue. Finally, access the auth content screen section and select the option publish the app. By doing so, you will enable the authorization for eROM and Google to utilize this integration. This step holds significant importance as neglecting it could result in encountering an error. Therefore, ensure that you perform this step diligently. Now, go back to eRoom and upload your JSON file. In the next step, we need to grant access to eRoom to use our Google account to create manage Google Meet meetings. Select the account you have generated credentials and give permission. There is an availability to change the account or the reset credentials. Settings of the add-on will let you choose the default time zone and the reminder time. You can also select the type of notifications to receive by email. That's all! We have completed the integration setup of the Google Meet and we are welcome to create Google Meet meetings right away from our eRoom plugin. To create a new meeting, go to eRoom from your WordPress dashboard, then Meetings. Here will be displayed all the meetings that you have created. In this page, meetings can be edited or deleted. Now let's go and add a new one. First of all, write down the title and select the featured picture for the event. Next, choose the provider, Zoom or Google Meet. As the settings of them are pretty different, we will see each of them one by one. Let's start with Zoom. First, indicate the time zone. For the meeting agenda, write down what kind of things your subscribers can expect from this meeting briefly. Then, choose the meeting host for this event. You can make the meeting available only for some countries and make it inaccessible for some countries using approved or denied countries setting. Indicate a meeting date, time, write down the event duration in minutes. It will be displayed in the meetings page to inform your subscribers about the duration of the meeting. You can also set password to the meeting. Next setting, lets you make this meeting recurring. There are different options, choose the most suitable one to your plans. To use this function, recurring meetings add-on should be enabled. After saving the meeting settings, all occurrences scheduled the admin can see on the Zoom meeting info section on the right side of the meeting backend page. This is how recurring meetings will look like in frontend. Next couple of settings are responsible for enabling or disabling some specific functions of the Zoom. For example, enabling waiting room, allowing participants to join anytime, hosting video, turning on the participants video, meeting participants upon entry. Additionally, you can require participants to sign in Zoom so only authenticated users can join meetings. This setting works only for Zoom accounts with Pro license or higher. It's optional but you can also indicate the alternative hosts for the meeting as well. Select the author and we are done. We will see how to add meetings to the page, how to set meeting grids, etc. after some time. This is a meeting page. You can see the countdown, meeting date and time, as well as the meeting agenda. You can add it to the Google Calendar or iCall export. 
You can join the meeting in your browser and with Zoom app. Now, let's try to create Google Meet meeting, almost the same with Zoom. First, choose the title and the featured image. Select the Google Meet as a provider. Next, select the visibility. As we did for Zoom, indicate the time zone, meeting agenda, date and time, duration in minutes and the meeting password. Lastly, indicate the author of the meeting, then publish it. Each meeting, both Google Meet and Zoom meetings, will have its unique shortcode that can be pasted to anywhere in your website. Now, let's see the post. This is the view of the Google Meet meeting. There is an availability to add the meeting to the Google Calendar and to iCall export as well. Webinars are also meetings, but especially for a large audience and a listen-only mode. But it's a premium feature of the Zoom and Google Meet and works only if you have this kind of purchase plans. Creation of the webinars is almost the same as meetings. Go to webinars and add a new one. Settings are completely the same with the meeting settings. Just fill them and publish. After purchasing a plan from Zoom, do not forget to enable a webinar in your Zoom account. Pro version of the plugin allows you to create purchasable meetings with the help of the WooCommerce plugin. So make sure to install WooCommerce. Firstly, enable the purchasable meetings add-on from eRoom Pro. Now let's go and make some of the meetings on our website purchasable. First, go to WooCommerce products and add a new one. Enter the title, image, and the description, then move to the product settings. Choose the product data as Zoom or Google Meet conference and webinars. Now you need to link the product to a specific meeting. Select the needed one in the select meeting field. Set the price for your meeting. You can also mark the meeting as it is over. In this case, people can buy the recorded version of it. Just insert the embed code of the recorded file. For example, I have uploaded my recorded video to YouTube and I will paste the embedded code of it. Additionally, you can add attachable files to the product by linking the downloadable button then users will be able to download these files. In the inventory section, you can manage the stock. In the Zoom meeting or webinar product page, you can add it to the cart by getting the information about the meeting, webinar, duration, price, sale, price, date, and more. When a meeting or a webinar is purchased, but it does not start yet, the countdown will appear at the product banner, making aware how long it takes the meeting or webinar to start. You can set up the notification which will be sent to a participant a certain time before the start of the meeting. Go to eRoom, then Zoom settings, then WooCommerce add-on settings. 
and specify the time in the space provided in minutes. In this page, you can also enable comments, ranking, and ask question functions. The content of the notification message can be changed using the Local Translate plugin. After installing the plugin, go to the Local Translate in dashboard and find eRoom Zoom Meetings and Webinar Pro plugin. There you can edit the content of the message according to your needs. Eroom allows you to easily add new users. Those users can be added as hosts, which means that they will be able to host and create their own meetings. To add a new user, go to Eroom, then add user. And on the new page, fill the necessary information and save. Please note that you can add users in accordance with Zoom plan, so you cannot do it with a free plan. In the statistics section, you can see the brief statistics of your meetings and webinars. Now let's see the integrations with page builders like Elementor and WP Bakery. Eroom fully integrated with them. Let's edit one of the pages with Elementor, for example, free conferences and webinars page. Search for Zoom or Google Meet from widgets. You can see we have Zoom meeting, webinar, and meeting script. The first one will give the same result with the shortcut once we created a meeting. It means that it is the meeting page. You need to choose the meeting as a content. There will be a countdown and other info about the meeting. Next is almost same, but it is for webinars. The third one will give you this kind of beautiful grids. You need to choose first what kind of grid you need for meetings, webinars, and products. Products are the purchasable meetings or webinars we have created using WooCommerce. Style the widget according to your needs. For example, I have a menu called Conferences and Webinars and it has two options. It's up to you how to design it. Additionally, you can use the shortcuts in the Zoom or Google Meet settings page. Change the IDs and the numbers according to your needs and paste them anywhere you want. With this, our video comes to an end. If you liked it, put your thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Wait for amazing plugins from StyleMix Themes team. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.